that yodel Walmart kid is definitely a guilty pleasure. The remix that somebody made was the selfish. <laughs> like I lost my mind. That was like a month ago or two months ago, and I'm still bumping that. I don't know if I feel guilty about that though. I'm laughing, but I don't really feel guilty. How's the wife doing, Brendan? Don't you dare talk about my wife. Oh, she's good. Y'all think I don't know shit, I know what I'm talking about. I just chill up with these bitches, got the dicks in my mouth. I mean, they're tits, they're tits are in my mouth. Panic at the disco lyric tattooed, what would it be, and where would you put it? Oh, jeez. That's a tough one. Um, I would just put, close the goddamn door, and just right across my ass. You know what I mean? Okay, great. That's, that's what I'm... And, uh, let's do a little... All right. <laughs> it looks just like you, dude. Nicely done. Yeah, I don't, I don't I mean, see a difference. I, this is why. This is why we get paid. Yeah, I don't see a difference. Flower crowns, not unless you're in the movie The Princess Bride. Then flower crowns are cool. If you're in medieval times, I get it. You know, but you're not. Oh, give me the butt. You trust me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, so, he's so nice. Oh, we got him. We got him. I got the spot. That will be his day, but on your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we found it, homie. This is really good. And I have a. Come to a seat to play. Je suis calm! <laughs> and now you want to do it at the door, right? Yeah, well, I think when I'm saying, like, like, how dare you? And in front of our young daughters. Yeah. And the ass is storming out. He's like, you need to calm down. Oh, yeah. And then I, before I start out, like, Hey everybody, it's Brendan Yuri from Panic at the Disco. Pretty Odd is 10 years old. Um, that's a huge thing, man. When we were writing that record, we wanted to do something entirely different, so we copied the Beatles. Am I bisexual? I don't care. You know, I really don't care. You, I don't know what you would define that as, but I say I'm straight because I'm married to my wife. And I'm so in love with her, and I there's no question about that, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, if if worse came to worst and something terrible happened and I was single, it, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter if you're a guy, girl, trans. I, I don't care. If you're a good person and I connect with you, that's that's what matters to me. If I find you attractive, sure. Does not matter. The story behind I write sins, not tragedies. When the four of us were writing the first album. Our friend Ryan, who was writing the majority of the lyrics, had just gone through this amazing breakup. For a musician, that's just gold, you know? Like that's, oh man, we got an album coming up, you know what I mean? This is gonna be great. So he got dumped, she was in, you know, a lot of infidelity happening. He wanted to put it in uh, more mature terms, like they were getting married, so that's really where it came from. And the line, haven't you ever heard of closing the goddamn door, came from Ryan's dad, when he walked in on Ryan having sex with his girlfriend. Um, dropped the mic, made a joke about kicking 100 dogs on a farm. <laughs> If I had one more dog to kick. <laughs> oh my god. So terrible. <laughs> so I, I laugh immediately because it's so terrible. It's fun. I would there's no fucking way. If I saw somebody mistreating a dog, I would absolutely just beat the living shit out of him. Are you kidding me? That's one it's like it's okay to punch a Nazi. It's okay to punch somebody who uh, abuses animals. Absolutely. I'm I'm down with that. If they're hurting pets, yeah. What so cruel, oh my god. Morty when he pulls the dog on the That's leg. exactly right, yeah. yeah, and Summer and Rick like are jacked up on steroids and beat the shit out of the guy. Yeah, he pull, he tugs the dog on the leash. Oh, I hate that shit. Fuck, I hate that shit. Damn, that's a long ass Bebo. Yeah, Bebo! Do you ever take off that jacket or no? Jacket off? No. Jacket off. Jacket off. Jacket off. Babe, come here, my forehead's gone! What's up? No, you're good. Should I do that pose? Look, everybody thinks it's me. Let me move this up, boom. Hold on, one second, hold on, one second. Should it be like more feminine? Yeah. I did, I woke up and I cried. I did. 
first thing that I saw, I rolled, I rolled over, I woke up, I rolled over because I was sleeping on my phone. So I <laughs> opened it up to Twitter and I saw all the marriage equality posts and that made me happy. Choked up. Getting fucking choked up this morning. Even talking about it now, I'm starting to get a little choked up, so. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it's pretty amazing. It's a good day. Really, really good day. I like it. it. Makes me even happier now. I got samples to work with. I got some new stuff that I can throw into the mix. <clears throat> it's going to be great. Oh. <laughs> the sun from Rick and Morty. That's my. <laughs> Why do you always periscope when I'm about to sleep? Because I think it's hilarious. I think it's so funny. You're getting in your jam jams, brushing your little teeth, and I go, boom, and I fuck up your world. And I say, nope, no sleep for you. <laughs> what up? You like my hair? Thank you. To my Dallin impression. Is that pretty good? She's gotta be real sad. Oh my god! Hello, angels! Oh my babies! <laughs> okay, Avenger, we're gonna call you Nora. God damn it, I can't get him on my big forehead. Right. <laughs> oh my god, he referenced his forehead. Oh my uh, god, he talked about his forehead. You guys, the forehead's real. Oh my god, the struggle is real. Oh my god, forehead for life. Oh my god, my spirit animal is his forehead. Oh my, oh my god. god. I ship his forehead. Oh my god, I ship it. Senpai, forehead, please. Oh god, please respond. <laughs> Come to Portugal. Come, Come to Argentina. Come to Brazil! Love you guys. You know we give you shit because we love you. <laughs> Just too much fun. You make fun of my forehead. I make fun of all the things you tweet at us. It's all good. It's a love hate, right? Love you guys. Hate you, bro. You make fun love of you my guys. forehead. I make the soundtrack to your life. <laughs> to you hating my forehead. Slow video. <laughs> Happy album day. Bye. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? That was so intense at the part. end, bro. She was like, holy part. fuck! Uh, appreciate you, always. And I hope you're good. We'll see you soon. I love you. Bye. Frank, can I get you right here? Be gone, thought. <laughs> so well. <laughs> you know I wouldn't be the dessert. <laughs> you legend. That's why you got that. <laughs> what do you wish yeah. for? Uh, you don't know, but I wish. <laughs> I love you, you ignorant slut. All right, first off, I'm not that ignorant. Second off, I am a slut, but thank you. Yeah. Life of the party. You are so cute. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, man. I'm gonna hold you under your butt. Under your butt. Under your oh, butt. my gosh. Oh, oh, thank you. You love to get kisses, as you oh. I love getting the kisses. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks, dude. That's what makes you beautiful. Oh, oh. Yo, you're beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brendan Neary from Panic at the Disco. Hey, make sure to listen to my channel on iHeartRadio. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Listen to it on iHeartRadio. <laughs> Hola, soy Brandon Neary de Panic at the Disco. Uh, gracias por el concierto de Barcelona. Nos vemos en el próximo Vodafone Union Show. These are my eyes.
They used to be bigger when I was a child. I just had to grow into them. Um, my teachers all used to call me Gingerbread Boy. That's all you with a thousand thank you. Because, uh, my eyes were just massive. So all you could, you couldn't even really see white. I look like Wes Borland from Limp Bizkit. You could really only see, like, just dark, dark brown. Not my gumdrop buttons! You know? Oh no! My dad is gay for you. I'm gay for your dad. Appreciate you. Weenies, totally hot. Weenies are the best. I mean, uh, whether you're talking about euphemisms or you're talking about actual hot dogs, I mean, hot dog is just the best comfort food. Come on, guys.